Hamas is the source of all evil. Hamas is not the source of all evil. The source of all evil is what is the direct antidote? No, 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 answer my question. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. It's not. When you see something threatens the fabric of the society, you must know where is the source for these organizations and deal with it. Hello guys and welcome back to another insightful episode. In today's video, we'll delve into the intense conversation between comedian Basim Yusuf and Piers Morgan. While Basim condemns the action of Hamas on 7th October, yet he consistently presses Morgan for an explanation regarding Israel action in the West Bank. The question is, how can you justify the killing in the West Bank where Hamas does not exist? But Piers refused to provide an answer. He literally refused, stating that I'm not obligated to answer you. No, 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 answer my question! It's actually not my job to answer your questions. It's not. So let's take on from where Piers Morgan fell short in addressing Basim's basic question. And guys, if the content of the video is helpful, if there is a truth which can liberate people, then join us in amplifying its impact. When you like and when you leave a review, YouTube algorithm amplifies it. And you can support our work on patreon.com slash the east wind. Moving on, let's take a glimpse of their conversation. Well, I was asked, I would, well, I would ask you, if you were Israel, what would uh, you... If I was Israel. If you were Israel and that had happened to you, what would you uh -huh. think would be the appropriate way for the country to respond? I would do exactly like Israel did, kill as many people as possible since the, the, the world is letting me do it. I mean, I, I can do it because I can, you know. But the thing is, like, you know what, I agree with you. And you know what, I'm going to be even ahead of you because I see the question coming. Do you condemn Hamas for the atrocity? Yes, I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. Hamas is the source of all evil. Hamas is the source of all evil. There are reasons for everything. It's commendable that Basim Yusuf condemns Hamas. Any decent and reasonable person would share that sentiment. But when you say Hamas is evil, it is the source of all evil. So what exactly is evil? Are all the members of Hamas evil? Or the leadership at the top are they evil? Or the philosophy and the ideology which they follow is evil? Passing these sweeping statement, these blanket statement hinders the nuanced understanding of the issue and only by understanding the nuances one can have more informed and constructive discourse on this matter. So before we dissect what exactly is evil, let us briefly look at this research article by the Genocide Watch. Genocide Watch is declaring a genocide emergency alert for Israel and Gaza due to a war between Israel and Hamas. On 7th October, Hamas terrorists murdered over 1400 Israeli civilians, abducted over 150 hostages, including children, and they launched over 6,000 missiles supplied by Iran. Hamas targeted Israelis simply because they were Israelis. It was the deadliest massacre of Jews since the Holocaust. Iran, Hamas, Hezbollah and Palestinian Islamic Jihad, they have expressed their genocidal intent. They have expressed their genocidal intent to destroy the nation of Israel. The massacre by Hamas constituted an act of genocide. It's a very interesting observation by Genocide Watch that Hamas, Hezbollah and PIJ have expressed their genocidal intent to destroy the nation of Israel. To understand Hamas and its ideology, let us take a look at the Hamas Covenant 1988. The Covenant of the Islamic Resistance Movement released by Hamas on 18th August 1988. It's available on Yale Law School website and it's also available on Wikipedia. In the name of the most merciful Allah, the Covenant begins up with a Quranic verse of Chapter 3, Al Imran. And just after this Quranic verse, it includes the quote of the founder of the Muslim Brotherhood, Hassan al-Banna. It says, Israel will exist and it will continue to exist until Islam will obliterate it, just as it has obliterated others before it. The covenant opens up with this genocidal intent and this precisely encapsulates Hamas master plan that Israel will continue to exist until Islam obliterates it like it has obliterated others before it. And this is all in the name of the most merciful Allah. The covenant of the Islamic resistance movement, Hamas, clarifies its picture, reveals its identity, outlines its stand, explains its aim. Our struggle against the Jews is very great and very serious. 
and after this they have defined the movement in 36 points 36 articles definition of the movement ideological starting points article 1 the movement program is islam from islam it draws its ideas way of thinking and understanding of the universe life and man and it resorts to islam for judgment in all its conduct so basim is hamas the source of all evil or is their islamic ideology is the source of all evil they proclaim that from islam they draw their ideas and way of thinking and understanding so what is the source of all evil article 3 the basic structure of islamic resistance movement consists of muslims who have given their allegiance to allah whom they truly worship Article 5 By adopting Islam as its way of life the movement goes back to the time of the birth of the Islamic message of the righteous ancestor Allah is the target prophet is their example and Quran is their constitution Here I must clarify that this movement against the Jews goes back 1400 years ago with the birth of Islamic message by Muhammad and you should read this article what muhammad did to these jewish communities of banu nadir and banu quraiza which used to live in madina before that community was genocided by muhammad and what muhammad did with safia so basim what is the source of all evil hamas or this islamic ideology which in the past have expelled jews from madina and that's exactly what they want to do now in israel article 6 The Islamic resistance movement is a distinguished Palestinian movement whose allegiance is to Allah and whose way of life is Islam. It strives to raise the banner of Allah over every inch of Palestine. Just like Muhammad, Hamas also wants to raise the banner of Allah over every inch of Palestine. In the next article, article 7, Hamas spells out its genocidal intent towards Jews the islamic resistance movement aspires to the realization of the allah's promise no matter how long that should take the prophet had said the day of judgment will not come until muslim fight the jews killing the jews when the jews will hide behind the stone and trees the stone and tree will say o oh muslim o oh abdullah there is a jew behind me come and kill him these are the sunnat of prophet muhammad as mentioned in sahih bukhari and riyad as salim so basim what is the source of all evil hamas or this hadith by muhammad the day of judgment will not come until muslim kill the jews article 8 allah is its target prophet is its model and quran its constitution jihad is its path and death for the sake of allah is the loftiest of its wishes still are you going to say hamas is the source of all evil now article level 11 explains why this annihilation of jews is required the land of palestine is described as an islamic wurf consecrated for the muslim generation until judgment day so this territory which now includes israel gaza and west bank is consecrated any part of it should not be squandered or any part of it should not be given up now this is as per sharia law the law governing the land of palestine is an islamic sharia law when you have this kind of thought this kind of mentality how can anyone say that hamas is a source of all evil now article 13 rejects any kind of negotiation or peaceful resolution on this point the covenant is completely trans- spirit there is no solution to the palestinian question except through jihad initiative proposal and international conferences are all waste of time and vain endeavors and why do hamas think that it is a waste of time and there cannot be peaceful resolution it's because of their retarded beliefs when did the infidels do justice to the believers when did the non believers have done justice to muslims and for that lunatic thinking they have quoted the quranic verse but the jews will not be pleased with thee neither the christians until you follow their religion if you follow their desires after the knowledge which they have given you you shall have no patronage or protection against the allah article 15 highlights the importance of inculcating this mindset in children 
द डे दैट एनिमीज यूसर पार्ट ऑफ मुस्लिम लैंड जिहाद बिकम्स इंडिविजुअल ड्यूटी ऑफ एवरी मुस्लिम इट इज कंपल्सरी दैट द बैनर ऑफ जिहाद बी रेस्ड एंड टू डू दिस दिस रिक्वायर्स द डिफ्यूजन ऑफ इस्लामिक कॉन्शियसनेस अमंग द मासेस इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट द बेसिक चेंजेस बी मेड इन द स्कूल करिकुलम टू क्लींस इट ऑफ द ट्रेसिस ऑफ द आइडियोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन दैट अफेक्टेड इट एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ द ओरियंटलिस्ट सो कैन एनी वन से दैट Hamas is the source of all evil when you want to diffuse this islamic consciousness in children and school curriculum the root of all evil is your islamic consciousness which now you have infused in children article 30 points out that jihad is not confined to carrying of arms writers intellectuals media people orators educators are called upon to perform their roles and to perform their duty so this is the ideology of hamas and basim when you testify that i condemn hamas it is the source of all evil do you condemn hamas for the atrocity yes i condemn hamas i condemn hamas i condemn hamas. hamas is the source of all evil this testimony of yours is completely inaccurate hamas is not the source of all evil the source of all evil is islam from where hamas and radical muslims draws its ideas and way of thinking the source of all evil is allah which is their target the source of all evil is muhammad which is their role model and quran which is their constitution the source of all evil is the sunnat of muhammad who said the day of judgment will not come until muslim fight the jews the source of all evil is islamic sharia law which says that israeli land is a waqf land it is consecrated for the muslim generation till the judgment day the source of all evil is the quranic verse which says that there is no solution for the palestinian question except through jihad the source of all evil is your islamic consciousness which you have infused in children so mr basim don't just condemn hamas have the courage to criticize islam and muhammad and i hope you are one of those good people and unknowingly you're not following the article 30 which says that jihad is not just confined to carrying of arms writers intellectuals and media people are called upon to perform their roles and perform their duty i'm telling you there is no hamas in the west bank what is what is the excuse not your excuse what is the excuse to kill those people the question is how can you justify the killing in the west bank where hamas does not exist answer your question why israel is killing in west bank it's because pij palestinian islamic jihad and islamist in the west bank have also expressed a genocidal intent towards jews recently a bas government released an official document and it's published in mosque an institution in the west bank and jerusalem including alaska mosque the document instructs imam and the mosque to offer sermons that effectively call for the destruction of the jews the document stressed that our palestinian people cannot raise a white flag until the occupation is removed and an independent palestinian state is established with jerusalem as its capital and it quoted the same hadith which was in the article 7 of hamas charter that encourages the killing of the jews the time will not come until the muslim fight the jews muslim kill them and to say there is no hamas in west bank people say this either out of ignorance or dishonesty the student union election held at birzit university in the central west bank and an najaha university in the north west bank the election in these two universities were both won by hamas and these are the top universities in the west bank and the student union resonate with the hamas charter and its genocidal intent and the survey by the washington institute found that the majority of the palestinian in the west bank have also expressed positive opinion about hamas so basim when islamists in the west bank have openly expressed their genocidal intent against jews then what do you think the victim of the genocidal intent do with this genocidal intent how can we move towards peace let us look at sadguru's perspective on this you say that you know there must be a better solution there must be no confrontation non violence is not always the answer no i would argue yes you know it it's okay to say it's it doesn't deliver results no in your view can non violence be an answer for example 
to jihadi terrorism not at all so if not so then what i would like you to tell this audience is dealing with one of the greatest individual constructs of problems in the world today which is jihadi terrorism in your view satguru what is the direct antidote to jihadi terrorism an immediate and quick solution to it uh what is the direct antidote that's what i'm doing that's my work but quick solution i don't have one there's no quick solution individual transformation is the only solution but that's not a quick solution but a lasting solution so what is the what is the solution to it let me rephrase that what is the solution i'm it? saying how do you deal with it if you were a world leader well, satguru which you are in your own way but if you were a political leader facing the problem of jihadi terrorism what would you do to take it on so we must understand this though nobody wants to spell it out nobody wants to say it it is written not in one in many religious books across the world it is written clearly those who are not like you deserve to be killed let's come to the point i know this may bring things upon myself but it's okay not in any one book in many books it is written clearly those who do not believe the same things that i believe must die they are fit to die they are unfit to live here this is clearly there so because people are claiming it is the word of god they don't have the courage to amend the book it is time that you take sensible part of people who believe in these books and say see if you edit this 10 pages your book will become wonderful when a philosophy as dangerous as that and i wouldn't use the term philosophy when a belief as dangerous as that becomes as viral as potent it grows organically isis then becomes a thought process not even a terrorist organization then how do you deal with it i i need to correct that question a bit it is not organic it is very organized till you address this you will not address the problem it is very very organized so if anything that's organized it has a source if you have any kind of administrative strength and skills when you see something threatens the fabric of the society you must know where is the source for these organizations and deal with it so if we want peace there are three model israeli model which i would say is a reactionary model israelis are reacting after the islamist committed genocide on 7th october when they fired 7000 rockets it's a quick fix but not a lasting solution and then we have china model which is a proactive model and it has worked china faced islamic terrorism from 1919 to 2014 there used to be clashes between han chinese and uyghur muslims to solve that crisis from its source china came up with the reeducation policies that is the transformation model for the radical islamists and it has delivered results terrorism in china has been eliminated but this chinese model have also been heavily criticized for being a forceful transformation model people don't go there voluntarily but i would say it's more humane than israeli model and the third model is the sadguru model which is an individual transformation model where an individual voluntarily gives up its violent belief and tendencies by introducing certain tools certain practices in his life which helps him become a better human being so when you have these kind of genocidal beliefs people transformation whether voluntarily or involuntarily is the only lasting solution and when the rapid and the quick solution happens our heart pains for the innocent that suffer because of the karma of their parents and leaders so brothers and sisters in humanity do not stay away from islam help us amplify our voices youtube algorithm can do that if you like and share and tell your opinion on the comment section to support my voice and my work visit patreon.com/theeastwind and in the end i would say do not stay away from islam talk expose and neutralize Thank you guys for watching.